hey, 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 it's your girl, Bobby J. Hey, hey, did you see that? We're talking about Tyler Perry Sisters, season two, episode seven, Complications. Did you guys see that? Oh my goodness. He should change that title to Complications and Fornications. Boy, because everybody was in there getting it in. Everybody was getting some. But before we do that, before we go on to my recap, let me give a shout out to my commenters and subscribers. Who do we have? We have Bobby Ray. We have V Carter. We have Karen Wilson and Alan Welch. So shout out to you guys, and I look forward to your comments in this review. So let's get started. Here we start off with Paris and Andy. Andy's intoxicated. She's drunk. She wants to have sex. Where's your bedroom? And he's like, I was so proud of Paris. He was trying so hard to be a gentleman. He wasn't trying to take advantage of her. And I thought he was, but he did not try. He tried everything to say no. And he was like, let's get some coffee. No, I don't want no coffee. No, let, 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 you know, let us get coffee. I want us to be sober. Sober. He don't want, she don't want to be sober. I want us to have clear heads. He don't want it. She don't want to have a clear head. He's trying everything to get her because he don't want to take advantage of a drunk woman. And that is respectful, you know. And she's like, oh, did I ever tell you how sexy you are and stuff? And he was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know, he was like, she's like, what do you think? And she's taking his belt off his pants. And he said, I think you're trying to sleep with me or something. She's like, yeah, you know, like, what do you think? You know, he, he's like, he finally said, well, wait, wait, why? Why? Why do you want to sleep with me? Why? I don't understand. And he's like, wait, do you do this often? And that sobered her up ladies and gentlemen real quick her feelings got all hurt she was all up in her feelings and stuff but she's throwing herself at him homeboy's trying to be a gentleman so she wants to leave i'm out of here i said oh she sobered up real quick and he's like no no i don't want you to go he ain't gonna let her go out there you know and and, and she drunk by herself she can't even drive you know so she and matter of fact he drove her what i'm saying so she takes off all her clothes, the dress, and unwrap it. She had one of bad, hot, red <laughs> teddy. I was like, you better work it out, Andy. And she had a big old butt. I was like, I ain't know Andy was built like that. Maybe I wasn't paying attention to her outfits, but how they fit on her. But she was looking good. And so she was like, come on. Come on. He said, I don't understand. He said, what is happening here? You know, one minute you're mad at me, the next minute you were blowing me off. He's like, you know, she's like, Paris, just shut up. Just shut up and do this. And, and she, oh man, they started getting it in. He was saying, no, 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 he tried. Anyway, he tried and it didn't work. So then it switched over to, you know, it, he, he's a man. So, so it switches over to the bar. The party's over. Maurice is sitting at the bar with that, that the gay bartender. The other bartender, the black one, is dancing on the dance floor with Danny. And he's watching him. And he's like, what's up with them? What's up with her? And Maurice goes, she dickmatized. <laughs> he said, she's dickmatized. I fell out. I was like, that is so, f uh, give me a minute. <laughs> Because even when I say it, it's so funny. I'm like, dickmatized? Oh, Lord. So he's trying to find out what this guy's deal is on the dance floor with Dan, Danny. And he learns that the guy is a hustler. He's like, a hustler? He's like, oh, let me go get her. Let me get her right now. And the bartender's like, but wait, I thought you didn't like her. He's like, I don't like her. He said, but I work with her friend. And her friend, will ne I'll never hit the end of it. I will never hit the end of it if I let anything happen to her. So he goes on the dance floor and tries to get her off the dance floor, telling her, we got to go. I need to get home. And she's like, well, you came with Maurice. I mean, you came with Calvin. He's like, Calvin and him left a long time ago while you was under homeboy's armpits. He said, we got to go. 
I gotta go. And he's like, you don't want him. She's like, with James, you gonna come with me? She's like, he's like, no, 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 you don't want him. You don't want him. He's talking on his teeth. No, baby. No, baby. You don't. <laughs> he's like, she's like, why? Is, is it disease? Isn't it disease free? He said, as far as I know it is. He said, but she said, then I want it. I want it. <laughs> She was like, I said, them two together is like Laura and Hardy because they the funniest two on the episode. So I'm like, oh my goodness. So she wanted to go and he was like, no, no, no. And he ended up saying, you got to drive me home. She said, well, then you got to give me gas money. And he's like, don't, I, don't you owe me money anyway? You know, he's like, wait up. These shoes are killing me. And they running out and stuff. And she got the guy James coming with them. I said, Lord, help me. Lord help me. So anyway, then you got Karen and Aaron. I didn't realize that rhymed. Karen and Aaron, they pull up to Karen's apartment. And I guess this is her first night sleeping in that apartment because the other night she slept at um somebody's house and then she slept in her in the uh, salon. So she goes there and she she told him he didn't have to get out. He was getting out. She's like, "Don't, don't get out. You don't have to get out." He's like, "Why?" You don't want me to come in? She said, no, that's all right. I'll be okay. He said, you sure? He said, but I got to make sure you'll be okay. Let me walk you to the door. Make sure you're fine and get inside. Then she admits she wants him to um to stay. And he volunteers to stay on the couch. And he sleeps on the, sleeps on the couch. And she said, are you sure you're going to be okay? Are you sure on the couch? And he said, yeah, I'll be fine. You know, he said, I'll be, he, he said, I'll be strong. He said, you know, trust me, trust me. He said, I got us. I said, oh. I got us. I like the way that sound. Mm. So then they go to Danny, makes it to her house. Danny makes it to her house apartment with um James. And they walking in the apartment and she they fussing or something like that. And she telling him to stop acting like he he wanna go home. And <laughs> he's like, Ain't nobody said they wanna go home. I'm just saying he was saying. She was like, look, just relax. So he said, Well, do you got something to drink? Do you have something to drink? And so she's like, mm. she said, I got something else better than that. He said, oh, no, I don't do no crystal meth. I don't do no. She said, what? Crystal meth? What the hell you talking about some crystal meth? She looking at him like, I, I, I talk about some weed. Do I look like I do crystal meth? She's like, dude, please. And he's like, well, you know, it, it, a lot of it was in the club that last night. And he, she said it was. He said, yeah, and your boy was doing it. My boy, who my boy? Calvin. She said, you saw Calvin do it? Crystal Matt? She said, you saw him do it? Yeah, he was in the bathroom. You saw him do it? She, he was like, yeah, he was in the bathroom doing it. She was like, oh, no. She said, I think I got to make a phone call. And he's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, not right now. Because all of a sudden, she got to make this call. He's like, nah, nah, not until we, we take care of what you brought me here for. She said, and what did I bring you here for? He, she, he said, <clears throat> you know, he, she, she's like, mm -mm. look, she's like, look, you're going to have a drink. You're going to take a couple of puffs and you're going to take your ass home. And he's like, okay, all right. You didn't get me here to talk. He said, I know you didn't get me here to talk. He said, but that's okay. Where's your bathroom? He goes in her bathroom and starts taking a shower. I was like, meanwhile, she out there trying to call Sabrina, I'm like, isn't it like two in the morning? She the last one that left the club, so probably more like two or three in the morning. You know, and she, she keeps calling Sabrina. Sabrina had to be reaching for the phone while she getting it in, getting her stuff in. With Calvin, what is wrong with people? Why are you answering the phone in the middle of sex? Sex can't be that damn good if you won't stop to answer the phone. You got a voicemail. You got an answer machine. Let it pick up. Let it pick up. Anyway, she kept on going with it. So Danny kept calling her. I don't know. That that was so rude. Till she finally answered, you know. And she answers the phone. And, and Sabrina tells her. I mean, she tells Sabrina what she heard about Calvin. I thought that could have waited till the morning. I mean, let me know. Could that not have waited till the morning? She's so quick to tell something, and then she don't even want to have sex. She came home to get her her kicks off, and she she interrupted somebody else getting theirs. 
So she tells her what's going on, and, and Sabrina's like, I can't hear you, I understand you. And she's telling him, the fine bartender told me that he was doing crystal meth. Messing up her groove, messing up her evening, because after that, she started acting strange. Sabrina acted strange the rest of the night. And she said, Danny told her, look, that's what I found out. I'm giving you the information. Do with it whatever you want to do with it. Messed up Sabrina's night. So her and Calvin, you know, Calvin's like, oh, I can't keep doing this. You got to kiss it and make it better. I was like, oh, oh, okay. That was a little bit too much for me. And she was like, no, no, no. We just rest or something. And he's like saying how much he loves her and stuff. Girl, I love you so much and stuff. Thanks for inviting me over. See, everybody, all the girls was getting in, inviting everybody over. And so he said, um, I wish I had met you several years ago, about at least five years ago. Then we could have been married and had a couple of kids. And you would have been, my, my father would have been able to see us with grandkids. And, and she's like, yeah, really? He said, yeah, I think we should be exclusive. And she's like, exclusive? He's like, yeah. He's like, you know, and... She's like, hmm, and he's talking about, he's still talking, you know, about wanting to have kids. You do want to have kids, right? She said, yeah, how many you want to have? Oh, maybe two. He said, I want to have about five. She's like, five? Like, that, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> it do sound like a lot, don't it, though? You ain't never going to work again. You're going to be working in your house forever. So he wants to be exclusive, and she admits, she tells him she's not ready to have be in a relationship. See, now she got what Danny told her on her mind, and that's the issue. And she's talking about, oh, you know, but when this time is right, you know, uh, what did she say? She want to make sure that we be honest when we do get into this relationship. We be honest with each other. So when it's when the hard conversations come, we can discuss it. And he said, that's the way I feel. That's what I want also. So, but when he wanted to be exclusive and she wasn't feeling it, he he was like, oh, well, thanks. for he, he was hurt. He was hurt. I know he was, but he said he wasn't hurt. He said he wasn't hurt. And I didn't understand that whole thing because she supposed to have a crush on him. So I don't know why she said that. I thought she was crazy about Calvin. Anyway, so then we had Danny and James. He comes out of the bathroom. She's like, what's taking you so long? He done been in the shower and stuff. She find out he done used her toothbrush. She's like, ew, you in there using her toothbrush? He's like, wait a minute. You can keep that damn toothbrush. He, he used, this guy done made himself comfortable. Told me he didn't want to be stinking and smelling like the club. Getting my, you know, when he, when he get up next to her and stuff. And and she's like, well, what, what you talking about? She, she, she you know, Dan, Danny making those faces and stuff. She is so funny. And he's like, he started nibbling on her neck and everything. And she's like, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. And he said, you know what? I'm, he said, you know you want this. He said, I'm going to get that ass. <laughs> she said, oh, oh, excuse me. He said, I, and she said, she said, what you mean? What you gonna get the ass and stuff? He said, he slap her on the ass. He's like, oh, he's like, I like it a little bit. She said, I like it a little further to the north. I like, like, I want it in my ass. And he's like, oh, you gonna like it. He said, you, cause you ain't never had me before. And you gonna love it. He said, I'm gonna get those toes. And I'm gonna suck those toes. And lick those toes. And he said, I'm gonna get those little beautiful bunions and stuff. She said, I, I, excuse me, I don't have any bunions. He said, that damn crack. I'm gonna get that brown crack into. She's like, what, 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 what crack? And he slapped her on the ass. And he talking about the crack. Oh my God. And he went down on her behind. She's like, oh, oh, oh. And <laughs> he was going, he was going to tear her up so this is gonna be funny because i just have a feeling you know i don't know i think she got in the bed with him too soon everybody trying to stop everybody from doing stuff and they they just gonna do what they want to do up in here because everybody in the club getting drunk everybody in the club getting tipsy but they were getting drunk then they show karen karen end up in the bed and she's screaming in bed she had a nightmare she had a nightmare. It was her first night sleeping back in the, her apartment. And she had this nightmare. 
that Zach was getting killed or something like that. And she was like, I need to call Zach. I need to call Zach. And Aaron runs in there to save her and hold her and tell her she's okay. It's just a dream. It's just a dream. Zach is okay. But if you need to call Zach, okay, go ahead and call Zach. And she's like, oh, oh. She said, I thought I saw him get killed. He's like, no, he's okay. And and I noticed he still has on all his clothes. He was sleeping on the couch. He didn't take no clothes off. He was being strong so she, she could trust him. So he's like, you need me to go back? She said, no, no, stay in here with me. Stay in here. So he stayed in the bed and held her. And he told, I got you. You know, I'm not going anywhere, Karen. I'll be right here. And I was like, she was like, please just hold me. He said, I got you. I got you. That was beautiful. I love stuff like that. Mm. Love is so grand. What else was there? Andy. So Andy's asleep on Paris. And he, <laughs> on the couch. And some lady comes in the door. Oh my God. This lady comes in the door. And I'm like, who the freak is that? I mean, is that, who is that? The cleaning lady? Or is it his mama? The boy still live with his mama. I said, oh, snap. She woke them up. And she says she lives in the basement. And what we end up learning, excuse me, what we end up learning is that they work together. Because his mama knew everything that happened to uh, Andy when the FBI came and all that stuff. She let Andy know. But she she said she, um, Andy was like, they, she woke him up. She's like disgusting, you know, you know. She's calling them all kind of names. And, and she's like, oh, can, can I get my, my, my dress and stuff? She said, no. No, because we're going to talk. We're going to have a little chat. And he's like, mama, mama, mama. He, he kept like, obviously him, but they making him out to be a mama's boy. And she's like, he's like, she, I think the mother said, you're going to have to get out of here. Boy, get out of here. He said, can I have my clothes? And he trying to get dressed right there. Boy, I seen you how you look before. I changed your pampers. I hate when mothers say that. He said, boy, I don't know how old he is. She's like, I changed your pampers. <laughs> so, so I know. I know. Who you are? Diapers. She might have said diapers. Don't want to be shouting out and giving no calls out. Anyway, so he's like, he gets dressed and he he's just like, mama, you going to have to go. She said, excuse you, boy, get out of here. And she, Andy said, you you just going to leave me here with your mama? Okay. And she not dressed or anything. And his mama laid into her. She laid into her. She said, I heard everything because I live right downstairs. He he tried to talk to you. All he wanted to do is talk. But you came here with your mind made up what you wanted and what you wanted to do. I said, oh, snap. And she was right. She said, so what happened to you? What happened? Did your boyfriend break up with you? Did he hurt you? Did he upset you? And she's like, it's not like that. It's not like that. She said, what's it like? Tell me what it's like. No, it's not like that. And she said, little girl, I wasn't born yesterday. I know what's going on. First of all, you came in here. You knew what you wanted. You wanted this. I could hear everything. And she was like, <laughs> my son is a good man. And the only reason he slept with you is because he is a man. I said, okay, mother. Tell him. He said, how he going to turn and say, no, you take all your damn clothes off. She said, all he wanted to do was talk. But you was mind made up. She told her, you too pretty. Too smart. She said, you too pretty and smart and nice and sweet to be anyone's one night anything. I said, oh, my Lord. And she's like, I know I just wanted to. And she said, why? Because those FBI people came and raided your, your office and took all your stuff. and blah. She's like, you know about that, too? Yeah, I know about it. We worked there. We cleaned the place together. So she was like, she felt embarrassed. She was saying she was sorry. To, and the mother was like, you sorry for what? She's sorry for um for making too much noise. <laughs> uh, it's, it, they seem to say that Andy makes a lot of noise during sex. So, But the mother gave her speech. Then she called Paris in there, told Paris to come and drive her home. And he owes you an apology. And she and Paris apologized to her. And they went on to the next thing which was Fatima and Zach. And I, I don't know how this went down. I don't know why, what, what, what attracted Fatima to him, but um, keeps telling him that he's going to do great, you know, with this real estate business. And 
he's like saying, why do you keep saying that? You know, and she's like, because it's true. He said, yeah, but why do you keep saying it? She said, because I got you. She's like, I got you. He's like, what do you like? Wake up and doing affirmations each morning? She said, yeah, actually I do. <laughs> He's so funny. And she's like, actually I do. You know, and she told him, you know, you got to believe, you got to start believing before anyone else will. You know, you got to believe in yourself because nobody's going to have, there's a lot of haters out there, people. People are not going to believe in you. You got to believe in yourself. And I know this for a fact. So then she's, she gives him the keys to a truck and she said it belongs to the program. So please don't misuse it or get into any trouble. He's like, that's how I got into this whole thing. I started out with trouble, you know, and she was like, I forgot what she said. She said something funny. He's like, oh, oh, he said, oh, you smell so good. Cause she said, zip me up. You smell so good. And she's like, yes, I bathe. He said, oh, funny and beautiful. You know, she's like, he's so crazy, Jack. You know, so she said, I'm going to leave you the address to go to the house tonight. I guess this is part of the business thing that they're trying to do. And she said, be prepared to work all night because you might have to. And so she's telling him, you know, he's like, well, where are you going? She's like, I'm going to work. And he's like, you going to work? How are you going to work? You just going to leave me here? She said, yeah, I'm going to leave you here. She said, I don't think you would steal anything from me, would you? She said, I think that would be stupid for you to do that. She said, you should be thanking me instead of stealing from me. And that's what I'm saying, because she bailed him out. There was five Gs. She don't even know him. Like he said, you don't even know me. She's like, he didn't worry about that last night. You knew me well then. But anyway, so she said she would leave him there. And before she left, she said, oh, you might want to hit that uh toothpaste and mouthwash over there. He's like, oh, is it that bad? She's like, yeah. <laughs> I said, so she got jokes too. And I think it left off with, Ned, what was it, Aaron and Karen at breakfast. And he cooked her some breakfast. And they're sitting there doing small talk. And um, he said, you didn't have much in the refrigerator. And she's like, yeah, I got to go grocery shopping. He's like, you want to go tonight? I'll take you. You know, so they made plans to go tonight. And he was leaving. And um, he said, today was the first day I woke up and felt everything would be okay. And he's like, I talked to God and everything. And she said, what did he say? He said, yeah, everything's going to be fine. I got you. So, so that was nice. So he decided he was going to leave. And before he left, Andy came. So he kissed uh, Carrie goodbye. And in comes Andy. And Andy's doing her walk of shame, you know. And Karen, she was trying to tell Karen she's going to get dressed. And she was like, no, you're not going nowhere till you talk to me. And she said, you feel bad, don't you? You're embarrassed of what you did. She said, yeah, I am. You know, she said, but um, what did she say? I beat myself up about it. She said, I already beat myself up about it. And I don't want to hear it. She said, because that's all that stuff is about, you know, getting Gary out of your system. And she's like, what did you say? What did you say? Stuff. You know, she cut that little, you see how people do that switch and try to change it from being about them to somebody else. Why'd you say stuff? She said, usually you would say, she said shit or whatever. She said, well, she said, the, the Reverend getting to you, huh? Reverend getting to you. She said, no, not really. Then she said, yeah, well, maybe. But, hey, she said, like she told her, there's a difference between saying shit and stuff and sleeping with a stranger. She said, you slept with a stranger, you know, and she was like, yeah, I feel she said, but his mother read me. His mother was his mother. Yep. She heard everything. You know, I'm loud. She's like, he, she heard everything. And supposedly he says that he, that she lives with him and they were laughing. They said, that's what men do who live with their mamas. They always say she lives with them. And I had two friends like that. That's what's so funny about it. Cause that's true for most of them. Anyhow, going on, um, there was something she said that was funny. Oh, she said his mother, yeah, his mother read me the right act. She read me the Old and New Testament. She read me like the Old and New Testament. I said, okay, that was a good one. And um, what else? I guess that's it with them. But they had their little small talk and, you know, both of them, well, Karen is, seems like she's the only one that didn't do anything that was just so bad. Well, not really Sabrina either, but then Sabrina let what Aunt Danny told her get to her. So, 
but those were the different complications and things that were going on. Um, what else? Oh, Gary. So they show Gary. Gary and, oh my gosh, Gary at the precinct with his attorney, Ellis. And Gary is, is Ellis is telling him how bad everything looks. It doesn't look good and stuff like that. And um, Gary's like, yeah, but it wasn't me. They set me up, blah, blah, blah. He said, yeah, well, isn't this your signature? That's not my signature. He said, it looks like your signature. He said, that's an electronic signature. He said, does Jasmine have access to this stuff? He said, she's my wife, dude. She have access to everything. So he said, okay, well, I'm going to go and try to get you out and take care of it. He said, yo, look how they got me with these chains on. He's handcuffed and stuff. So he said, okay. And he started to get up to go. And he said, wait, wait, wait. Did you do what I told you to do? Did you, was you able to do what I asked of you? He was like, oh, man. Like, like you don't want to hear about this. He said, no, no, what, what? He said, you're not ready for this. What, did you, did you at least, he said, I didn't get to talk to her. You didn't get to talk to her. Did you at least tell her what I said, you know? He said, uh, he said, I know they were at a club for the, uh, the gay club. Da, 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 da. Uh, he said, I went, but I couldn't get in. I couldn't get in. He's like, come on. You lying to me? He's like, yeah. He said, I got in, but she was busy. He said, he kept telling him, you're not ready for that. And he said, she was with someone else. He said, what? She was with somebody else. What did he look like? What was they doing? He said, oh, they were just dancing. He said, what did he look like? He said, he was bald. He said, was he tall with a beard? He's like, yeah. He's like, he, he was mad. Oh, 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 banging on the table, getting all angry. I was like, you know what, really, Gary? He got a temper. Well, I don't even know how he could keep anybody. She needs to stop messing with him because he seemed like the abusive type. I don't care what nobody say. He seemed like the abusive type. and She needs to stay away from him. So anyway... He got mad. He's like, get me out of there. I want my money. I want you to get my money. I sent her money and I want to go to her office and get it now. He talking to him like he a dog and he's yelling at him. You all let me know. But I didn't like the way he was bossing him around. You know, the dude was trying to help him, but he was bossing him around and yelling at him and stuff. So, um, he went, um, he, he stopped him. He said, I'm going. He stopped him and said, wait, wait, wait. How long was you looking at them? How long did you watch them? He said, just a few minutes. That's it? That's it, just a few? He said, yeah, only a few. They was just dancing. He said, oh, okay, okay, okay. I said, that guy, mm-mm, mm-mm. Asking him how long did he watch and sending him there to the club. It, it's just, uh, I know the attorney was like, that's not what I get paid to do. No attorney wants to do that. And then it ended with Danny and Preston. Once again, He's gotten into her house by the landlord letting him in. And not for nothing, Danny is right. If Preston was a black man, that landlady would not be letting him in all the time. How you let somebody in? All you got to do is ring the damn doorbell. He never rang the bell. So what's she letting him in her house for? I'm like, oh my gosh. She said, you know, I forgot I got to cuss that lady out. And he's like, but Danny, I apologize. You know, he said, I get it now. I didn't get it before, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. She's like, he said, why are you looking around? Because she's looking around like, she looking around like, where that damn dude at that was in my bed? And she's telling him, no, you got to go. You know, I got to go to work. Get out of here. I'll call you later. You got, We got to go. Okay, okay. And he's like, what is this when you in a hurry to go to work and stuff? She said, you know, the big, the, 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 the big boss is in today. You know, I got I to gotta go. You know, I'm trying to get that combo commotion and he's like i hear something i hear something what's the noise she said oh, he said is somebody here she said well technically i, I have neighbors so somebody's always here <laughs> she's just making up daddy just daddy just be making up shit she be funny she's like he said it's the pipe she said it's the pipes it's an old building she's she's doing everything he's like it sounds like somebody in the bathroom she said you sure your ears are good he's like my ears is fine Sound like somebody in the bathroom, then you hear him flush the toilet. I said, oh, Lord. And homeboy come out in all his glory, butt naked, butt naked. And Danny just, all she do is put her head down. She ain't looking for that promotion no more. <laughs> I said, damn. He's like, what up, dude? He was like, with no clothes on. He had no shame. He wasn't trying to hide. And, oh, man. 
This was a good episode. I enjoyed it. I really did. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know down in the comment section. Barbie J saying peace.